If anything goes wrong, let me know, because the experience with the new OBS has not been great for me. Um, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, let's just say I was worried my capture card was dead, but it was, it was OBS and it's update that did it. Okay. In the name of progress, what should I do? You know, I have to get something with him. I'm also having my coffee, so I might take a bit. Um, yeah, this is actually a good one. <laughs> Happy subversary. Thank you so much, Amy. Oh, uh, yeah, it's that. It just reminded me. Hey! 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 You should be encouraging your viewers. Do it! Hey! It's just, uh, I'm doing it in that voice because it's like the annoying Navi thing, like just reminding. Just, it sent me two reminders. I'm not kidding you. <laughs> two reminders. Hey, don't forget. Papa Bezos wants you to make him more money. 30% off. Don't forget to tell your viewers. Anyway. Hello, Sandy. Invested? Yeah, that chicken game was pretty fun yesterday. I just, I wish I could have played it longer, but I was a bit wrecked from work, so. I did the best I could, but towards the end, I was like, uh, if I, if I stay up any longer, I won't appreciate the story. They went from half off to 20% off, did they? Oh, yeah, they used to be half off, didn't they? Hang on, what is, maybe I'm misinterpreting it. Yeah, it's 30. Huh. No, no, but see, the, the streamers, what they're doing, right? They're preparing us for the point in time where they only take 30% off our revenue, right? They're preparing us for that, so they're, they're saying, get used to the number 30, streamers, because uh, soon, yeah, we'll only take 30% of your money instead of half. It says 25% off on your end. I think it might be 30 in Australia just to adjust for the fact that the Australian currency is weird and more expensive. So I think it'll equate to the same thing. When did you get a founder's badge? <laughs> like, uh, I don't know, about a month ago? I was given the ability to redo them, and so I redid, redid them, and gave them to all the regulars. Instead of the ones that are my original ones, which were people I haven't seen in like four or five years. <laughs> to be fair, you, you did have one originally under, under that other account, but since you're no longer using it. So, I mean, you just got back what was yours anyway. But yeah, I made sure, like, people like Nick got one and Cat. It still made you feel warm and fuzzy. Well, I'm glad. Though it is the literal least I could do. <laughs> it's... Yeah, I mean... Yeah, it, it's definitely showing my appreciation. However... However... 
the um, the unfortunate thing is, and there's no way to change it, it's just Twitch, right? Is that you can only display it if you're subscribed to me. Which, yeah, Papa Bezos preying on human emotion, right? Yes, give them a token of appreciation and make them pay for it monthly. Human emotion? Five dollars a month. Yes, then I'll take 50% of that human emotion for myself. <laughs> uh, fucking hell. It's not far from the truth. There's still more people that can get founders badges, it's just it won't let me do it until I become a Twitch partner, which pff, whenever that'll happen. I love how everything is just so insidious to some degree. Hey, you want more human emotion? You want more human emotion? Get to 75 average viewers. Do it. It's okay. This character's gonna be hard, so there's gonna be a lot of death. Wait. Oh yeah, I did the base. Right, I did the base with the loss. That's right. <laughs> that was that was that stream where I sat there for a literal hour. Then just watched it play out. That was great. Two AM streams, maybe for you. It's like nice and early here. 10 a.m. Hey, Nick. How's it going? Oh, that's not a good thing to happen with this character. It's okay. I'll be fine here. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I can't take that. Thankfully, there's a reroll machine here. Shoot. I'm just going to have to blow it up and... Yeah. Okay. No, but uh, it's another unkit one. Ugh. Damn it. I thought it was the other one. My bad. This'll do. I uh, ended up finishing Better Call Saul, and it was great. I did. I did like the ending quite a bit. Kind of crazy. Usually spin-off shows aren't as good as the original, but I'd say this was pretty... Pretty good. Like, it, I, I don't know. I would say it's probably equal. That show, Breaking Bad and Judges, are on your list to watch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I think you, you do have to watch Breaking Bad before Soul, because... I think watching Soul on its own, it might be harder to get into. But 
they kind of, like they have a duality kind of relationship like one enriches the other so to speak i i think you could watch uh you could watch either in any order but it's probably better i guess oh boy <laughs> Dude, this is the star wars argument like do you watch the prequels or do you watch the originals um Yeah, I don't know. I would say watch Breaking Bad first. It's, uh, it's pretty interesting, because Breaking Bad is, like, more of... It's, like, crime stuff, mainly. There is emotional stuff involved, but then Soul is, like, all about emotional manipulation and trauma, with crime stuff sprinkled in. Both, both enjoyable. If all of us didn't already know Vader and Luke was Leia's dad, the prequels should come first, but we already know that. Yeah, that's true. You love the prequels, but you also understand people who didn't watch nine movies instead of six. I enjoyed the prequels as well. It's just, I think where the prequels uh, like didn't land it for me. I think I liked the theme of the pre prequels. Like the story they were trying to tell was that dogma ultimately creates a horrible person, I think is the point. At least that's the way I interpret all of it. Right, like, if the Jedi weren't so dogmatic, maybe Anakin wouldn't have uh, become who he became, right? That's the way I interpret those movies. Ignoring the flaws, like, there are some obvious flaws. Um, and story holes, but I think the point it was trying to make for the point in time that those movies came out in, it's pretty underrated in my opinion. Right. My favorite pl plot device is like uh, the Padme assassination. Just the amount of layers to it. Oh, that video is great. <laughs> the video describing the amount of layers in terms of the Padme assassination attempt. I can laugh at that, but you know, I don't hold the... Listen, people watch Fast and the Furious, it's like, there's stupid plot holes in movies. And that, that series has what, like 10 now? 10 movies? Probably more. Yes! Ugh. Nice. Best item. See, I would say I would organize in Discord to watch Breaking Bad, but then time zones are a bitch. Because now there's a few people that haven't watched it. And I just finished Soul, so I haven't seen Breaking Bad since it originally aired. Which was... Fuck, how long ago was that? It would have been like six years. Maybe shorter. Maybe it's not that long. It's been about five. No, wait. No, think about it. Soul has six seasons. It's been seven years. It's been seven years. Okay, this is going well. But yeah, maybe it's too tricky to organize. 
It would have to be a thing where it's like, well, watching it at this time, if you can't make it, just catch up. Anyway, I won't- I won't talk about much. With, uh, those shows, but I will say... In my opinion, they're like some of the best pieces of television I've seen. Fine. Uh. Oh. Oh. I'm on a roll. If I broke it down by three episodes and then scheduled a discussion about it on Sundays, it would be a thing. True. True. The only time I'd be able to do it, assuming Europeans are interested. Which I know there's a few that haven't seen it. I'd have to get up. Not that early, like... I think if I get up at like 8 in the morning and have a coffee, it's fine. Like as if I'm going to work, pretty much. Which I have been doing most of these weekends anyway, so it's no biggie. It just means it's a super late night thing, which... I don't know. <laughs> most people are up late anyway on a weekend. Yeah, JoJo's good, but unfortunately it's gone on break again. So it's like now it's 2023 and it's going to finish it. I don't know. I think this is one of these releases that Netflix should have stuck to the weekly thing. They sort of ruined that a little, because, uh... Jojo used to come out on Fridays, and it was pretty much every Friday for a year you would have an episode. With the exception of maybe a week or two here. But now it's like, oh yeah, on this day we'll release 12, and then you have to wait 6 months for... ...another 12, and then you'll have to wait another 5 months. So... That's a good one. Lame. It is. It's a preference thing. Uh, I guess, but... See, here's the thing. I think putting all the episodes out at once works if there's not much of a gap. Like, take Stranger Things, for example. It was two parts, and there wasn't too much of a wait between the two. It wasn't that big. This was six months, and it's not even finished yet. It kind of ruins the story versus, like, something that traditionally was 
okay, you'd only get one episode every week, but you'd be talking about it on a weekly basis, and it was guaranteed that, like, every week you would find out what would happen next. As opposed to now, where it's like, well, next year. And to get to this point, I had to wait, like, from January. Okay, ja from January to August, what, however number of months that was. Sorry, January to September. It's not even January to August. I don't remember when it came out, but yeah. It's a long fucking wait for something that doesn't even conclude. <laughs> it's just... It's like, nah, nah, you gotta wait again. I think dropping all the episodes makes sense if it either drops all of them, so then you can see it, the conclusion to it, or if it has to split it up, no more than two parts and there's not much of a gap between them, but this is like... an extreme case of it. Um, we got... We got this, so this will be good. Anyway, I get that it's personal preference, but I think in this case, splitting it up into three, ugh, not not great. I mean, with the latest set of episodes, like, me and my brothers, we were watching it, and... <laughs> we were just waiting for it, we were like, alright. Where, where's it gonna leave it? And yeah, of course it leaves it in a spot where it's like, oh yeah, yeah, now... Now it's another potential six-month wait. Are you going to be sad? Uh, maybe a little. You haven't caught up. The episodes have only been out for two days. Or one day in your case, I guess. I definitely think that this is going to be the saddest arc, just... I don't know, there's, there's just something about it that just doesn't sit right with me. I might be overthinking it, but given that the rest of the show had a particular format and a way of, like, sort of, uh... Foreshadowing events, yeah. That's just my theory. It might not, might not necessarily eventuate. Yes, we want this. Because we're going for Guppy. I don't think it'll be another Stardust Crusaders. I think it's just... I don't know. I, I just get the feeling that... I'm not sure what I'm expecting. That's the thing. It's just... I know just based on... The intro and outro sequences, like... Mm, If it's sticking to its pattern, because it's the same people producing the show, it's not like they've changed producers. I just have a hunch. But we'll see. I am strong. 
Yeah, alright, this is gonna be our item now. Uh, I guess we'll take this. Could get a transformation out of it, never know. Nah, not worth time. So the next show that I am on to watching Assuming that we don't do a Breaking Bad thingy. Um, what do you call it? Stranger Things, the new season. I have not watched it yet. Nice. Excellent. This is going well. I already got the boss rush stuff, so I don't need to worry about it. You haven't watched that yet either? Yeah. Speed down. I I haven't caught up because I was I was waiting for uh for all the episodes to be out. Cause again, like the multi part thing, just not my way. You haven't seen any of Stranger Things. It's good. Check it out. It's worth a watch. Especially if you're into, uh, like 80s vibes. The soundtrack to it is great. I mean, I guess I should go for Hush in this run, since I do have my nine lives. I'm trying to get my bearings. Oh my god, this is bad. This annoying curse. Dead in the room. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Finally. Uh, no. Good. That's just gonna cause a detriment. Give me something that is... There we go. That's good. Perfect. Perpetual increase of damage. Penny, come on. Oh, here we go. No. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I don't have all that luck. It's still positive. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking... S no, I should, I should stop. I need to... I got timing to make. This is this is very good. Lemon party. After that, I, I can't think of anything else. I think I'm caught up on all the stuff that I usually watch. No, 
not worth it. Worms. Watch the Umbrella Academy, another great fantasy series. I haven't seen Umbrella Academy. That's something I haven't checked out. As far as the Marvel stuff goes, I haven't seen She-Hulk. That, but that's still airing, so this time. But I don't know. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like a bit exhausted of all the superhero stuff. <laughs> Just maybe a, a little bit of burnout. If I like time travel and good humor, the series is super good. Okay. I shall keep it in mind. I still haven't gotten the transformation. How has this not happened yet? Egg, 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 egg. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. Gotta head to bed. Alright, Nick, no worries. Well, thanks for popping in and Enjoy the rest of your night. Sleep well. I'll we'll probably see you later. Shit. Okay, I got to pick what I do. I think the negative is probably the hardest one to do. Looks like I will make progress with this character. I don't need to look for the curse rooms anymore, so that's nice. Now that I have the transformation. I don't really have anything that's going to help me against the bullet hell, but... Hmm... Def I definitely got to worry, because... Of course it's this character. I guess little Dumpy kind of does. What is that? Guppy's eye? That's a new item. An eye for secrets. Oh, you can see what's- oh, you can see what's in the chest, that's awesome. So I don't have to open the chest if I think it's bad. That's pretty neat. Shot speed up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, keep that. Um, yeah, I don't think we want that negative PhD. Okay, I think we're good. Uh, did the sound just go shit for everyone? Yeah, it did. Hang on. It's gone humming on my end. Just a sec. Well, maybe it's just on my end. Hold on. Ugh, for fuck's sake. 
I think it's just my sound. One sec. There we go. Jeez. I think it's just my headset. <laughs> Did something weird. Sorry about that. I just went into... It's hard to describe, but... Oh, this is so useful. Holy shit. I can see what chests to open. What a cool item. And if there's Yara, I'll know when to use. Wow. This is quite good. Cursed Eye, not good. Pills, eh, I'm good. But, ha ha! Uh, yeah, I think range is probably a good idea. Oh, shit! Why does- why does it do that? It should not be allowed to do that. Spawn directly on top of me? Really? Okay, yeah. No, we want to stick to pure luck. What a great item. Get fucking destroyed. <laughs> Take it since it's free. Okay, now comes the clench part. See, this is nice because now I can see which chest to open and which one to ignore. Okay, ignore both of them, they're just health ups. This one I can open, because it gives me a key. Oh, wow. Dude. I've just set myself up. I just got a winning build here. Um... Okay, hold on. Do this. <laughs> Why not? Oh yeah, I should be donating this money. Okay, that's fine. Uh... Yeah, I mean... It's just gonna duplicate the hell. Oh wait, oh, damn, that shot speed up. What the fuck? It changed. Okay, we might be able to get a key out of this little fella. Nope, game says fuck you. All right. All right, here we go. Ooh, but. This is, yeah, this might be more detrimental than I think. Oh shit, jeez. Almost didn't dodge.
What the fuck? It's doing different shit. Okay, the flame shot is carrying me. It's destroying his shots. Yes! <laughs> yes! Victory! That's one of the harder wins to get. There's visually a lot happening. Yeah. It's a bullet hell boss, so... I'm playing a character where you can take two hits and that's it. You pretty much have to do it without taking damage. And I did. Okay, but that's one of the harder things to do done. I'm very happy about that. Okay, so it gives me a little more confidence, because the alternate version of this character, you don't get the safety net. If I can get something like this again, it's doable. Hero walk. I'm keeping this as a kind of a failsafe. If I feel threatened, I'll teleport out. Like if I take a hit way too early. Wait, it doesn't... Okay, because it's a teleport, that's why. Um, none of these really help. I'll grab the book, just in case I can get a transformation. Okay. Drop it. Yeah, I'm just ripping through them. Nice. That wasn't even the most visually overwhelming you've seen me play, but it was a lot. That one used to be the, uh, the hardest boss. But then, now things have changed. Um. This one. Because we've got a high luck stat. The newer bosses are way harder. So I have gotten used to some of them, like the, uh... Evangelical boss. <laughs> it's, uh... It's something that I don't struggle as much with now. That's probably the coolest boss fight. I wonder if he hired an actor to do, like, uh, that broadcast, or if it's from a real recording. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a real recording. I would like to think it's, it's a voice actor, but it would not surprise me. If that was for real. Okay. Transformation. There we go. I th yeah, and it's going off constantly because of my luck stat. Phew. 
purity. Nice. Range. That's unlucky. Unfortunately, I can't change it. <laughs> but whatever. Uh, that's not going to help me in the slightest. Ooh. Ooh, you dick. Ooh, he almost sniped me. No. Don't get to continue. That's sad. Uh, let me just... You never know, I might get the key. Okay, but other than that, I think I think we're done here. The only way this will work is if I get Dad's key and I can open. Which could still happen. Uh, nah. We're good. Well, they... Uh... Might give me, they might give me another chest which might contain the key. No, we're good. Fuck, it's a shame that I can't I can't continue this. Just got unlucky. Ah, oh, oh, this would have been so good to fight Delirium with. That fly is probably the best item for this character. It's like a psychic fly that flies out and destroys shots midair. It's really good. Okay. Uh. Well, since this isn't continuing, I guess... Visually interesting? What does this look like? Oh. So my... Right, okay. That's kind of cool. So wherever the, this is going, it's shooting the flames into it. Okay. Well, I, gu I guess we're done here. Success. So I could drop this on a boss and then the flames would be shooting no matter what. That's pretty neat. Uh, I wonder... No. <laughs> I was thinking, can I teleport into the room? No, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Well, that's fine. I am content. Cool. Oh, I haven't done greed with this. Ooh. You know what? Alright. I am game. I haven't done this in a while. This is going to be harder. It's because I unlocked you later, so that's why. Okay, so we were, we were talking about this last night. Lelo kind of sidetracked the gameplay yesterday, but um, bacon made out of banana peels. Thoughts, Americans. And I, it's, of course it's not bacon, but vegans trying to be like, oh yeah, it's bacon. Alternative to bacon, banana peels.
They called it banana skin. Oh. Banana skins. In your personal opinion, if you want to eat meat, eat meat. Ah, uh, but like... Okay, here's the thing. I'm not debating taste here, right? It's more of a thing like, come on, you're really stretching it. It's not bacon. Just say that it's like delicious fried banana skins. Don't try to, like, try to convince us that it's bacon. Like, that. that's my issue is like trying to convince the people, oh, this is as good as bacon. Right? If it was presented as, this is a delicious alternative to bacon, yeah, I can get on board with that. But trying to tell me, hey, you should be eating this instead of bacon, it's just as good. No, dude. No. <laughs> you're not- you're not convincing me on that one. Just- if you enjoy it, more power to you, you know? Happy for ya. I've had some vegetarian stuff, which is very fucking delicious and tasty. And I didn't need to get, like, told, oh, this is like- yeah, this is a steak. It's- it's a piece of, uh, fruit, but it's a steak. Um... Yeah. I, I don't know, that- that's- that's my biggest issue with it. You don't want to be convinced to not eat bacon, yeah. Exactly. You've, you're eating very little meat, but you would not try imitating meat. You would just try to find something else to eat. Yeah, that's fair. It's funny because in the game I was playing yesterday, they had a conversation about it. Like, one of the chickens was talking about eating imitating me imitated meat and asking the other chicken, why haven't you tried it yet? It's like, why are you trying to convince yourself that you're eating meat? It's like, just eat- You, you obviously don't eat meat, so just eat everything aside from it. I haven't tried any of the, uh, mock meat stuff, like, beyond. There is one thing, though, in, um, particularly Southeast Asian communities, they have, uh... Okay. They sell this, and I'm, I'm not joking, vegetarian barbecue pork. So, basically, it's like, if you've ever seen the barbecue pork they have at, uh restaurants like i think they had like china malaysia singaporean but it's that pork that's like colored red more or less so they have a vegetarian alternative to that and they call it vegetarian barbecue pork which yeah, <laughs> I mean, I get that it's an alternative. Maybe it's a translation thing, I don't know. Isn't it jackfruit? Uh, I'm not ch not quite sure. I just remember that... <laughs> so... The Asian groceries uh, in the city here in Melbourne... The prices are a, a lot more expensive than out where I lived. Where it's like, it's... Oh my god, it can hit me. It's a suburb where, like, all, a bunch of, uh, like, Chinese, Vietnamese, and... Hang on. Hold that thought. I think... I'm trying to think who else, but anyway. That's a suburb where, like, we used to go shopping. And, yeah, we'd take the train there. And the prices there are, are really cheap, so I, I made a drive out there to get some of my Malaysian co-workers this, uh, vegetarian barbecue pork. Because they love it, right? And... It was almost double what they were paying in the city, so... It's 
it was wild. <laughs> just the trip I made. And I made the trip as well, to be fair, because there's some really good restaurants there. And uh, I was like, you know what? I'll make a day out of it. I'll go see my parents as well. And I'll get myself some really good stir fry. So I did that. It was great. But, you know, the premise of uh, being out there for vegetarian barbecue pork. I'm not sure what it's made out of. The world. I think most of them like this sort of soy based anyway. Anyway, I'm hoping I can get an auto a semi-autonomous friend here. Because that would mean victory. I did have, uh... We did have our staff Christmas party at this place that served yeah like I don't know I can't remember what it was but they did use jackfruit and it was pretty good it wasn't a vegetarian place at all but it was just like one of their offerings it was like this jackfruit thing and it was pretty damn good wait hang on can't read I got literally fuck the worst thing that end- oh my god, that enemy's so annoying. I hate them. The issue you have with most imitation meat, it's made out of soy, and if you're an environmental vegetarian slash vegan, it's way worse for the environment than cows. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not versed in that kind of stuff. However, I, I will say, like... The only experience I've had to veganism is just people that... They're just on the high- moral high ground end of it. There's one person in particular who I haven't seen in a while, but every time I see them... <laughs> well, maybe not every time, but like, the way the way I do it is I let enough time pass, pass that they forget. So, I'll tell an intricate story, right? And it's always something exciting or like something unlucky or whatever. The, uh, the punchline is always the same. The first time I told the joke, it was, it was telling a story how I was eating at a restaurant, and this dude ordered the biggest steak, was eating it very quickly, and then started choking. And his wife, in a panic, yelled, Is, is there a doctor in the house? Please, my husband is choking! And then this vegan stands up and says, Yes, I'm a vegan. And that's the format of the joke, is like, at the end of the story, a vegan always stands up and announces, yes, they're a vegan. When no one's asking. So, I've told many different formats, like being on an airplane and, um, like an air marshal having to take down a suspicious person. Or like, uh, you know, a robbery happening and then someone asking for the police. <laughs> It's a great joke. They did not appreciate the joke at first, but I think over time they've warmed to it. And then the other instance of a vegan was someone that Man, to this day, I, I talk about it every now and then, just, like, the amount of mental gymnastics this person was going through. And I, I don't even know for what reason, but... So, I met this person, um, we were catching a ride to, like, a rehearsal dinner for a wedding. 
and uh, you know, of course, she announces that she's a vegan. So, you know, we're talking about restaurants that we've been to. And for most of them, she was like, oh, yeah, I would never go there. I'm like, cool, no. Uh, in my mind, I was like, cool, no one's asking you. Because <laughs> she started off with the holier than thou stuff pretty early. Anyway. So my friend starts talking about this restaurant we should go to. Um, it's a Chinese restaurant, and it does a style of food called Sichuan, right? Which is, for those that don't know, it's, it's spicy food. Very good stuff if you haven't tried it and you're into spice. Highly recommend. So he was talking about this particular dish where it's this fish in a spicy broth. And all of a sudden, this girl goes, oh, that sounds great. I'm like, what? Didn't you say you were a vegan? It's like, I am, but fish is okay. Like, what? And then, like, immediately everyone in the car is like, what? And so... I don't know, the next 20 minutes or so was just a debate over saying, well, you're not a vegan, you, I guess you're a pescatarian, but the, who cares? It's just a label, right? Like, it's fine if you want to eat fish, but don't say you're a vegan. It's like, no, but I am a vegan. It's like, no, no, by fucking definition, you're not. It's like, you're a pescatarian. You, you only eat fish, everything else. I mean, maybe a particular class of pescatarian, because you don't eat eggs or anything like that, but... Oh, dude, that conversation. Explosive diarrhea. The joke is a very Norm MacDonald joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you picked up on that. I think, uh, yeah. Definitely a little bit of influence from Norm there on that one. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. Like, the thing about that was... I, look, I don't care what you want to do or what you want to believe in, right? Like, it's fine. You do you. But the moment it becomes a thing where, like, you try to have some moral high ground over something that is... I don't know. I don't want to say personal... Like, it's a choice, I guess. But you got what I'm trying to say. Like, I'm probably not good with words this early in the morning. But, you know, it's one of those things where, come on, eating meat doesn't make you a horrible, horrible person. It, or they're just making it sound like it. That's the only thing I take issue with. Otherwise, yeah, I would never say anything to be like, <laughs> you don't eat meat, what a loser. Like, no. I don't know, I just- I hate any time someone tries to take, like, moral superiority. There's no bombs. Oh well. Yeah. I will say, though, the very first vegetarian I met was really cool. <laughs> you won't believe this. So... I met her in, uh, in my very first job. My very first job was in, in a chicken fast food restaurant. So I met a vegetarian, <laughs> I met a vegetarian in that place. That's how cool she was. She wasn't bothered by it at all. It was just, uh, whatever, she needed a job. Thank <laughs> you. 
And you wouldn't know it, pretty much. Like, it only came up if, like, we were going to lunch and we were going somewhere that didn't have a vegetarian alternative. And she'd be like, nah, I can't get... I don't, I don't want to eat meat. That's it. That's the only time it ever came up. And it was really surprising the first time it came up. But yeah, she was cool. And my brother also dated a vegetarian at one point, and she was also pretty cool. She... Like, unless you, like, straight up asked, you wouldn't know it. Or it was just a scenario where, like, you were going somewhere and, you know, literal steakhouse or somewhere. Or it was only meat. You were a vegetarian for 12 years and no one knew. See, that's good. I like that. I just don't like, yeah, being placed in a box, so to speak, you know? They've nerfed this. It used to give a penny for every rock exploded. It's okay. That's not going to help, right? Yeah, that's not going to help. Your opinion is this. If you're going to make a choice, go for it. Whatever your reasons, that's fine. But if you're going to inflict it on others, you can shut the fuck up. Exactly. Well put. I will make it more succinct, though. Do what you want. Don't be a cunt. <laughs> that's it. I'll just... Put it in Australian terms right there. Do what you want, just don't be a cunt. Oh, nice. This is here. Alright, cool. Don't be a cunt is the important part. Exactly. You know, I have like a... What the fuck? Like, okay. I Whenever it comes up with a vegan and it's like they're doing the moral, moral high ground, like, oh, you, you're not a good person or, you know, I'm a, no, I'm a good person because I'm a vegan, whatever. Like, there is one card I will play that never fails. I haven't had it fail yet, but like, I just asked them the simple question, what do you feed your cat? And I have yet to meet a, meet a <laughs> I have yet to meet a vegan that doesn't have a cat. It hasn't failed yet, but I'm like, what do you feed your cat? And of course, the answer has to be meat, right? Like you can't feed a cat plant-based stuff. It's it fucks them up. So like they they're able to draw. It's not black and white. They're able to have a moral middle ground where they're like, this is okay. But ultimately, you know, it still goes, the money goes to a company that kills animals, right? You're just, now you're just deciding to choose nuts. Nah, it's, it's fine. It's for a pet. It's fine. But if it's a person eating meat, no, I'm going to make sure they feel like shit. I'm dead. <laughs> I don't think there's any saving this. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Good. You also don't want to be a dick to people that choose that either. You had a couple of people feed you chicken without knowing. That's not cool. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. That's, again, being a cunt. But from the other perspective, it's like... If someone's not bothering you with how they live their life, then just leave them the fuck alone. It doesn't affect you in the slightest. Especially if you're going to have minimal interaction with that person, like... <laughs> it 
even if the person's being a cunt to you, it's still... I don't know. It's fucked up. This is not going well, but I, I kind of figured, like, this is going to take a while. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, damage, thank you. See, that's how serious I took that. Like, I didn't even- I didn't even make a joke about chicken. I'm really not forward to playing as the twins. Like, if you think this is bad in terms of losing streak, those two, fucking hell. The few times I've played as them, oh, it sucks. It really does. Oh, shit. Sorry you're in and out because dinner, but you know of vegans that fed their cats a plant-based diet and one of them got so sick she had to be hospitalized. Yeah, that's fucked up. Make choices for yourself, but inflicting that shit on your pets and kids is fucked up. Mm-hmm. That's why I always ask that question, because... Um... You have to- you have to draw a, like, if you have a pet, you have to draw that line. So it's like, if there's a moral gray area for your pet, there's, there has to be one for humans. You're just choosing to ignore it. That is detrimental, I think. Pretty sure. But yeah, it's just something you straight up can't do to a cat. Maybe I've just been on- I'm sure there are vegans that are cool. Right? I'm sure they exist. It's just... In my encounters... Uh, it's all- it's always been the same. I think vegetarians are more likely to be, uh... Laid back. You really shouldn't do that to a kid either, huh? Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> it's hard. You stopped being a vegetarian when you got pregnant because you need fucking protein to grow a human. That makes sense. I mean, I'm sure the vegan response to that would be, there are other ways to get protein. It's like, yeah, you might be right. But I keep using this analogy as like, 
I don't know why. It's kind of a dumb analogy, but it's like... You could also use sandpaper to grate a block of cheese. It's like, doesn't mean it's gonna work as well as a cheese grater. I mean, I'm sure you'll get there eventually, but... Why not just use the cheese grater? <laughs> That's what it's there for. <laughs> Step off the soapbox. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do the same. But, you know, it's just, it was just telling a story. Of the, the vegan that ate fish. If you're gonna clout chase, just say it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I am like, I'm very particular about who I hang out with. So thankfully, like. Those kind of people, they're, they're not really in my circles. It's like, generally when I run into them is like if I go do something social and it's like friend of a friend, so to speak. Everyone I know is pretty laid back and chill that I hang out with in real life. None of these are good. Sometimes you feel that vegans say they're vegans because there's nothing else that's interesting about them. Wow. Oh, it worked. Cool. I mean, probably not wrong. I don't know, maybe it's just a case of, I mean, look, it's a very basic human thing to want to, like, leave a legacy, so to speak, or leave something behind, or feel like you're doing something that matters to some extent. So, like, I, I get the understanding why they might want to point something like that out, because it's like, it's peacocking, more or less. The fact that they are doing something meaningful, or they think it's something meaningful. It's just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Damn it, I didn't predict that one correctly. One thing my dad was was telling me um like apparently and I'm not sure this is the case anymore but the country that we're from right it's like a, a Latin American country and uh apparently it's a thing there where like if you have a particular possession or if you reach a particular level of education you get like a title to your name and people take that very seriously. So I would imagine there's like cases where people go get degrees <laughs> just for the sake of getting a degree so they get the title for respect. I don't know. It's just another one of those things where like people will get shitty if you don't address them by like the, the prefix, right? That they've earned, so to speak.
So, like, if I went over there, I forgot what it was, but there's, there's like, a prefix I would get because I went to university. I'm like, that is... I would not want that. <laughs> it's just... Sounds so... Ugh. You're just being bitchy? What? Being bitchy by, like, expressing an opinion? Sounds like advertising that you want at capitalism. I mean, some of it, like, I know... It, I, I don't remember the exact rules around it, but, like... A common one is the term Don, right? And I think it comes from, like, owning particular land or some shit like that. I can't remember. But there's, there's like, sort of a, a criteria that you have to meet before people start calling you that. You know what it's, it's, you know what it's like? It's like on the equivalent of people that, and I know I'm firing shots here, but I don't care. Like, <laughs> people that get their PhD, which, yeah. It's a very good achievement, right? But then they insist that you call them doctor. It's like I I get it. You you take you got a doctorate, technically, yeah. But it's I mean, in society, the term we use it for the medical profession because it's just clearer, right? It's like if someone asks if there are a doctor in the building, if you have a PhD of philosophy, you're not going to stand up, are you? So, it's, you're just peacocking. You should be okay with not being called doctor. I don't know. But you know what? I guess now that now that I say that, that kind of explains the whole getting a title because you went to university thing. It's the same thing. Does I think this works, right? It does. Yes. Wait, you'll address them as Doctor I Don't Give a Shit. They earned that with probably a near mental breakdown. They're entitled to that. <laughs> I don't know. I just... I guess that's the thing. Like, with people like that, I generally don't have that long a conversation with them. So I'll, I'll typically try to bail on the conversation. And yeah, they're not really people that are in my life, so... When it has come up... I kind of just, like, laugh it off and just, I don't know, go around the subject and then that's probably the last I'll speak to that person. It's one of those things, it's like, I have certain red flags <laughs> where it's just like, mm, yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm sure... Eventually, it would get to a point where we get along maybe 80% of the time, but for those other 20%, nah, life's too short, dude. Okay, that's a start. Get the free bombs and then put this back. Okay. I might have a good chance with this, just because the damage should be enough to keep me safe. 
I feel like I'm doing an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm here, just <laughs> talking about this kind of stuff. A lot of it is probably a plot in a Curb Your Enthusiasm episode. Particularly the PhD one, I'm sure, like, Larry David's expressed something like that. You're going to get a doctorate, so I'm forced to address you as doctor. You know, I, would, I wouldn't do that, right? Unless that doctorate is in medicine. <laughs> the friendship shall perish. <laughs> Come on, you would not do that. You would not force someone to call you doctor. Jesus, it's like... That episode of Seinfeld with that dude that forced everyone to call them maestro. See, I would call someone maestro before doctor. Because maestro, at least, it's like... The profession is there. Now, in the circumstance of the maestro from Seinfeld, it was, like, a little loose. But that one, I, I at least can respect. It's kind of like... If I was... If I was to, uh... Have one of my chef friends be like, call me chef. Then, maybe. If they were good enough, sure. But then again, I guess knowing me, I would... I would do it. I'd be like, Yes, chef! <laughs> do the whole Golden Ramsey bit. Wait, so I don't respect you, got it. Listen. You're acting like this is something that would be specific to you, like this is how I would behave to you only. If that were the case, that would be a matter of not respecting you. But this is consistency here. If anyone tried to make me call them doctor, who was not in the medical profession, I would treat them the same. If they're good enough, you'd like to see me cook well as them. I mean, look. Even Gordon Ramsay does it. Like, he goes, there's a difference between cook and chef. There are some people where they, they are cooks. And they consider themselves chefs. A chef, in my opinion, is just... You can see someone that chases that, right? To use... The term, passion. So to speak. Like, they care about everything they do. They'll ask for your opinion in terms of how stuff tastes and that sort of stuff. Like, you can see that they're genuinely into it. Now look, Gordon Ramsay has had his issues with stuff like the grilled cheese. But you can, like... Listen, you can, you can tell the dude's into what he does, right? Like, he has a genuine care for it. Now, whether or not he's correct on certain things, that's... That's different, right? Like, you can be really into it, but be incorrect about certain things. But when the guy talks about food and what he does in his industry, you can see. Like, he wouldn't- he would not want to do anything else. So that's what I mean. I don't mean, like, how good they are. That was probably the wrong choice of words. It was more like... I know people that would want to be called chef, but they don't really give a fuck about what they do. Two of clubs. Okay. 
Dane trip while I backpedal. No, I mean, I'll acknowledge that it wasn't probably the best way to phrase it. There's nothing wrong with changing your mind. Or trying to express what you were trying to express. Like, I'm only human. I might not get things right. You're just giving me shit? Yeah, and I'm like... Just saying. It's how I am. It's like someone giving me crap over it, I'll just be- I'll just meet them with, uh... Just how I am as a person. Like, I'll be sensible. I should probably leave, and that's gonna damage down. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I got the, uh... Hmm, is there anything that's luck-based that I have? I don't think so. Oh! Alright, I'll get it anyway, because the matchstick doesn't really work that well in greed mode. Fuck! Oh! Ha! <laughs> yes! I got saved. I got saved by the collar. Okay. Okay, good. That's not gonna happen the second time, I don't think. You're going to make my life hell while we're awake at the same time? Nah. You're talking to someone that was like the older sibling of four. And was an older cousin to like maybe 15 kids. I mean, you'd pretty much have to act like a... Like a... A cunt, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Which you would not want to do. Okay, this, this one. Don't you dare. Alright, well I have enough to do this. Let's see what it is. Meat cube, mini mushroom... Nah. Nothing really worthwhile. Oh, that's kind of cool. It shoots lasers in random directions. Uh, that would give me spawn. So yes. One makes you larger. That's not good news. Okay. I'm gonna have to make do without the book for just a minute. Ooh. Ah, oh, shit. It was in all cardinal directions. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. No, it exploded! Oh my god, that's- Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> How many times am I gonna- Oh no, I have to redo the whole thing again. Uh. 
Holy shit. It's like a- it's a 50-50 chance every time. So... You know... Odds are it's gonna fail next time. Okay, but I know- I know now. Do not destroy that one. There we go. Oh, oh no! Fuck! <laughs> oh, this is hard. It's pretty much a case of I need I need something that gives me insane damage at that point, or it's just gonna fail. Okay. Mmm, this isn't as good as it used to be, but I'll take it. I gotta look at getting some lunch soon as well. It's only 11.30, but... Okay, on the front of, like, food, there's a hot dog place that's open nearby, and I've been meaning to go check it out. As I've talked about before, we don't really have many hot dog places, so if there's a good hot dog place nearby, damn. Hey, Canfern, what's up, dude? Long time no see, how goes it? Oh shit, jeez. That scared me. This is worth getting because two keys and behind it was more damage. Great. And movement speed. Is it really only giving me 10 seconds to beat this thing? What is going on? I don't know what spawned. Ooh. Ooh, this is not good. This is gonna make this significantly more difficult. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I can't look at chat. <laughs> oh, I forgot to close my door, shit. There might be a bit of an echo. Okay, give me a sec. You've been working a ton to have a three-day weekend, so you're pretty stoked about that. How am I? Doing well. Doing pretty well. Got some time during the day today, so... I'm just playing a bit of this. 
That'll do it. Oh, that would be nice if I could get another two. I gotta remember, like, whilst it's only four damage, it's double shot four damage. Damage up. Okay. Um, unfortunately, can't do that. Okay. I lucked out. Oh man, every item was a damage up. Okay. Uh, I should try and find this then. Unfortunately, your new job has you out from 1 till 9. Pretty rarely live when you're watching Twitch, considering you don't get up till 11. Yeah, that makes sense. It's just time zones, right? Plus, the winter time zone is worse for Americans. I know that much. Because it's a larger difference than normal. That'll do it. I'll probably re-roll that one. That one's mm, it's just cards. I'm sure there'll be overlap at some point in the future. But yeah, uh, as far as I am, like, just... <laughs> In the streaming room, I had recently set up uh, acoustic foam, so now I have, like, a, a better sounding setup. At least I hope so, I don't know. People haven't told me anything. I'm just going to assume it's either, like, not noticeable or... It's like, yeah, good job. You did it. It's 14 hours, it's as bad as it gets. Yep. Yep. Pretty much if you're an Australian and want to stream and stream to Americans, you have to get up at like 5, 6 in the morning. Which a lot of the larger Aussie streamers do. But since I'm not going for that, I'm good. The other solution is move to the west coast, but that would involve moving to the west coast. The time difference isn't as extreme. Professional? Uh, I mean... I guess it's definitely gone above and beyond what most people do. But, you know, to me it's a hobby, so it's just like... Little by little. Over the course of five years. It's not... Almost six now, jeez. It's not something that happened overnight. I look at some of my earlier videos and the sound quality, man. <laughs> it bothers me, but at the time it was, it was fine. Oh my god. The fuck happened there? Take needle for more speed. Thank you. What's up with the button? Why am I a ghost? Alright, so this is greed mode, right? It's 
The way it works is the button in the middle damages you, but it stops spawning enemies. So there's a certain number of rounds. After each round, you get money. And you spend money on items. So the aim is just to get as far as I can. The reason I'm a ghost is I'm playing a character called The Lost, which is a ghost. And, uh... Ooh, see, that's, that's a useful item for clearing. But I'm gonna... Nice. That was a good gamble. Yeah, he only has two health, so you can only take... In any given room, you can only take... Uh, two hits, pretty much. You have one safety net, and then you're dead. Perfect. Alright. It's one of the harder characters to play as, but I figured I'll try and get progress on it. Uh, okay. Tammy's head. Probably does nothing. I can't really reroll both. Shit. Tear up. This item's really cool, being able to see what's in a chest. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Uh, um... That's pretty neat. Isaac is one of the games with so much replay value. Yeah, particularly with this latest patch, like, the amount of stuff they've added is insane. I mean, I don't know if you care about spoilers. But I can say that, like... The stuff they've added expands it a lot. Yeah, I'm playing this because I finished Risk of Rain too, so... I want to get this completely done because this is, well... They've said it a few times, but this is the last content pack. So we'll see. So I started a fresh file and I'm going through it. It's going to take a while, but I think I can do it. Despite some of the newer stuff that is uh, really difficult. You don't care. Okay, that's fair. Um, oh, you can even see what's inside the keeper. That's cool. So I can see that there's money inside. Yeah, every character has, um, an alternate version. So, it's like, the character roster is pretty much doubled. On top of adding, what, two new characters? Yeah, it's double on top of that. You've watched a lot of Isaac, but you don't know what's happening. How did he get in the scary dungeon? Well, this is a separate game mode, so it doesn't really have a story associated with it. Uh... I reckon this. Gonna trust in that gamble. Mm. 
the main game. Oh, I mean, it's a it's a retelling of a Bible story, pretty much. To so, like paraphrase it, you know, this dude he uh, thought he heard God, and you know, God was testing him and brought a bunch of uh, bad shit his way to see if he would remain faithful. And towards the end of it, he uh, like God asks him to kill his son to see if he's faithful. And then at the very last second, he's like, "Lol, J.K. Dude, you you be faithful." So that's that's the original story, more or less. And then this is like telling it from a different perspective. It's like uh, it's a family. They're a broken family. Um, the parents have split up, the father left them, and the kid Isaac, um, sees his mom watching those, uh, evang evangelical, uh, TV broadcasts, and she starts going crazy, thinking she hears God, and God says, kill your son. And that's, yeah, that's the format of the story, pretty much. It's loosely based on that. And then, yeah, the game kind of reveals there's more to the story and leaves a lot open to interpretation. It's pretty good. But not really the primary reason you play this game. Very useful. Very useful. I pushed the button. There we go. Yeah, I mean, it's alright. No. The creator of the game lived in a uh, very religious upbringing, so that's why... Yeah. <laughs> He's uh, expressed that through this game. You're sure his parents are thrilled? Yeah, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't really care. <laughs> it's one of those things where, look, your parents are your parents, but you don't live for them, ultimately. Not everyone realizes that. Oh no. Ooh, this is gonna be rough. Okay, one down, now we're good. Shit. Okay, I, I guess take this one. Wait, what hit me? It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just keep moving. All right. Nice. 
gives me a better chance of succeeding, but... I could really use that... The dead cat. <laughs> Uh, fly, fly. Nothing really useful. Uh, I mean, I could gamble on the seven. The health isn't going to do anything, but if there's anything else good behind it. This has an item behind it. That's why it's not showing it. No, wait, no, it does. It has nothing. Never mind. Speed. Okay, that's useful to some degree. Okay. Black hull. Eh. Shit. Oh boy, this is not good. Hold up. Let me get the situation under control before I read. Oh. Fuck me. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> you bought a guitar. You've been... Been super cool learning something. That's awesome, dude. Putting something to good practice. It's cool to just mess around with something and yeah, it gives you something to do. I'm personally waiting on this little handheld that I'm gonna mess around with to, uh, like, do little video game experiments. It's just this basic, well, it's not really basic, but it's black and white screen. And yeah, you can make neat little games with it. I plan to mess around with it a little. It'll be here in, like, a couple months. I mentioned that I wanted to make a game. Yeah. I mean, if I have a good idea. I'm not trying to force it or anything. I have messed around with some tools and stuff, but nothing really worth showing. It's just le learning, more or less. At least with this little thing, it's, it's kind of easy to mock up, like, quick little ideas. And, you know, I think one of the things that I believe in is, like, if you're restricted by something, creativity sort of comes out a bit easier. So the constraint of, like, being black and white and more or less like a Game Boy. It's not only nostalgia, but it means I have to do stuff within the constructs, which could be good. I'll probably stream with it as well, because that's the cool thing about it, is they've made it so you can hook it up to the computer and output the video. And there are a bunch of little games that uh, have been made for it. It's actually a pretty neat little community. Can you let others play your game? Uh, so there's two types of games that you can make on it. There's one using this editor that's web-based, right? And that one, you can run those games in a web browser, but then there's the ones that are native to the device. Those ones, they're distributed and installed on the little handheld, but I believe with... Um, if you download the development kit, which includes an emulator, you can play them. It's not as accessible as the other one, where you just give in a web address and then you go there and, hey, it's playable. 
Ah, uh, what's it called? It's called the play date. It's pretty cool. Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't get anything that can really... I don't know what this is. What is this? I feel safe. Interesting. It's a new item, so let's get it. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, I don't care, so let's just get this. Oh, they become orbitals. That's interesting. Yeah, I mean, so the gimmick behind it originally was... um. When you would order the device, it would have this season of games, so to speak. So when you get it, like, every week, a new game would download to your device. Um, and it has one unique thing. It has, like, this mechanical crank on it to have, like, a, a different input. But then, of course, it would let people develop it. There's a whole category on Itch where you can get... It's pretty... It's kind of cool. It's kind of like... um. When the app store first launched and you can get games for like a dollar. It's kind of what they're trying to do because now that um, like Flash as a concept is dead, right? Say what you will about Flash, but one of the things it was really good at was if people wanted to make games or like very quick ideas, that thing was great. And there isn't anything really that's replaced it. So their idea is kind of, like, to be that replacement, more or less. They've made a game-making tool, which lets you make pretty... I wouldn't say basic, but, like, it's basic compared to what the device is capable of. And it's very approachable. I would recommend that if people want to learn programming as well. It's pretty decent. Um, and, yeah, you can make games with it. It's pretty cool. And share them. And then if you want to take things further, like, it's got a bunch of, uh, like, more in-depth programming you can do and not use the, uh, game maker tool they have. Sorry. I think, uh, what they're trying to do is cool. It's a very niche thing, but, I don't know, I like it. I'm probably not gonna win this now. I do have the collar. Wait, what? I thought I got hit. Oh, fuck. Okay, well, I get a second chance. It's okay. I lost the trinket, but it didn't really change anything. Oh my god. Wait, what? I still have the shit. Is something else giving me a secondary shield? What's going on? Oh, the safety blanket. Okay. Ah. Okay, so now I have three hits. That's cool. Okay, so I have three health, effectively. I understand now. Now I see what that does. Those coins that fall from the sky are so annoying. These ones. Because they can just fall directly on you and it's hard to tell where they're going to fall. Can I say something? So tech- okay, technically, if I really want to be cheesy, I could end this- <laughs> Like, okay, here's the thing. The pause button will keep him paused, right? 
and the spider. Well, it will do damage to it like every few seconds. So, in theory, I could win this. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, it's not forever. Fine. But with enough focus, I could do it. Like, I'm already recharged. Do it again. It's not completely ruined because I can recharge the item. So if I want to be super cheesy... Oh my god, fuck that. Nah. <laughs> okay. That would work better if I had like a meat boy or something. Autonomous. I didn't have enough damage, that was the fact. Yeah, it's hard. It's not going to be the hardest thing I'll have to do with this character, but it, it's up there. I reckon I'll have, like, a couple more attempts, and then I should get some lunch in me. I think the twin shot did more harm than good. I don't know. Also, this is bad. I don't have anywhere to hide in. probably asked before, but you forget what kind of music do I normally listen to. Uh, a bit of everything, to be honest. It just depends the mood I'm in. Like, the certain music I put if I feel like kicking back, the different music I put if I feel like being creative. I don't know. Well, I listen to a bit of everything. I think probably the only genre I don't really listen to would be, like, American country music. Because <laughs> it's not really a thing here. Oh, and anything that's, like, super pop. Extreme, like, yeah, pop music, I guess, is, I don't know, the best way to put it. Just not my thing. I think with that kind of, like, uh, pop music, it has to be... I think I won't listen to it until it's old enough. So, for example, 90s pop music, I don't mind it. Because it's 90s and it's, it's past, it's time. But anything in, like, the last 15 years, nah. American country is a funny genre. Pretty opposed to it, but there's some good songs if you know where to look. Yeah, I mean, no doubt. Like, I'm not opposed to it. I guess I just don't really listen to it because it's it's not really a thing here. Like, it, it doesn't really get much exposure. I think the only time that we really get it is there's this Australian... Um, there's this Australian singer who went... And became an American country. Uh, his name is... Wait, what was... What the fuck is his name? Hang on, I need to look him up. You probably won't realize he's Australian. Yeah, Jimmy Barnes. That's his name. 
actually does that song called uh, Working Class Man. Good old Jimmy. I mean, okay, I have heard stuff from, like, Dolly Parton, and, uh, who else? Damn it, what's his name? I'm terrible with names. Johnny Cash. I had a friend that listened to quite a bit of Bob Dylan and stuff, but I guess he's more folksy than country. Willie Nelson? Yeah, probably. I know the name. But yeah, I mean, it's not really a genre that's represented here. I think Australia has its own equivalent. Okay, it's over. Let's see if we can take this for free. Got it. Nice. And we get this one as a bonus. There we go. See, I would share my playlist, but they're like Apple Music playlists, unfortunately, because that's what I get free with my cell provider. And there's no way to move them to Spotify in an easy manner. Most of it is closely linked to American rural culture that wouldn't translate well to anything else. Yeah. Exactly. That's the thing. It's just in general, it wouldn't relate. And also talking about places that we put it wouldn't even know about, you know? Well, I'm dead. There's no way out of this situation, I don't think. I don't think the shield restores. Yeah. It keeps track of the fact that... <laughs> that used to be a way to cheese it. If you would get stuck in a room, just exit, come back, and then... You'd be able to escape. But yeah, uh, see ya, Sandy. Have a good night. Okay, well now I don't have to worry, because this is not going to take my shield. I got the filing thing. Okay. I got the feeling this isn't going to go very far either. Like, my starting item. You use YouTube music like a psychopath. <laughs> in some ways, it's, YouTube music is... Alright, in terms of maybe... Playlist management and discovery probably isn't as good as the others, but I will say One advantage it does have is you, you will get stuff that you cannot find on anything I 
I don't know. I'm just so against YouTube music. Just because the amount of times they ask me if I want to upgrade to YouTube Premium is just annoying. You use Spotify because everyone you know uses Spotify and you like creeping on their playlists. Yeah, I mean, that's one good thing Spotify is for, is the playlist stuff. Being able to share that and it's more social. But for me, I guess, yeah, Apple Music is just because it's free. And it's good at curating stuff. It's just more on the playlist discovery thing, like... It's a bit harder to discover. You can share playlists on it, it's not that you can't, it's just not as easily discoverable as Spotify. And I don't want to maintain two playlists. But yeah, most things are... Well, most streamers these days will have a music playlist area, which, I mean, if only there was some way to export them easily, I would do it. But to my knowledge, there's no free way to do it. There are apps that can do it for you, but they ask for payment, which, eh, no thanks. Omega, Omega, your cat. I'm impressed that it was able to hit the Omega key twice. Oh, that, yeah, it's a pointless item, isn't it? All right, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, typically, it's like a, uh, I guess it depends. I know you h you hold a certain key down and it gives you an alternate version of that key with some, some of them. And then other times I think it's just like the option key and then you can hit, or alt, I can't remember. YouTube is pretty intuitive if you're willing to pay the price, it's nice. Yeah, but I don't know. There's just something about YouTube I just don't like. It's hard to explain. Maybe it's just because I'm a streamer and my sentiment towards it is just they're fucking annoying with their... their content claiming system, and it just makes me not want to s give them money. Maybe that's part of it, but... I don't know. Maybe because I'm not one to watch too much YouTube stuff on a regular basis. Like, I don't really have... Aside from certain streamers that I watch, I don't have channels that are strictly YouTube that I watch on the, like, basis. Like, I'm on top of their uploads and make it a weekly thing, so to speak, or however often they upload. Like, I, I don't really do that. So I feel like I'd be not using it to the fullest extent. Option Z on a MacBook. Yeah, I figured it would be something like that. I know the option key is like the uh, calligraphy modifier or whatever. Not calligraphy. Typography. Type modifier. Ugh. I need to get some food in me. Brain not giving correct terminology and eloquent thoughts.
I'll see if that hot dog place does delivery. Otherwise, I, I might just make something real quick. One more. I mean, I should be happy. I got my... My, uh... My win. Ugh, that sucks. Particularly, it was one of the harder things to do, so... Option Z is an impressive combo for a cat. Nah, they're right next to each other. Got me. Okay. You think you're confused as to where the option key is? I think you're thinking of the function key, which is a little further away. Um, but the option key is is on Mac. It's the Alt key on Windows keyboards, basically. So, like on Windows, you have to hit a number modifier to get special characters. That's the term, special characters. But on Mac, it's, uh, if you hit option, every keyboard character has, like, a bound special character. And I think if you hit shift, it even has, like, another set of it. Or alt, I can't remember. This is probably gonna not- this is probably not gonna go well because there's two of them. Fuck. And I can't kill them quick enough. Oh no. Yep. Yep. This is the worst I could have gotten. I'm not gonna survive this. Last one! I'm gonna- I'm gonna reset. I'm tired of getting health-related stuff. That'll do. Okay. And then I gotta figure out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Ugh. I want to at least make it past the first floor. That's, I guess, why I'm saying one more. I just feel bad if I end it on a note where I just don't even make it past the first floor. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, jeez. I hate how stuff is allowed to spawn directly on top of you. Okay, what have we got? Damage up, but speed down. Range and luck. Okay. I mean, this should be enough to take this out easily. Easy. I mean, pretty much with this, if I get the chili pepper item, it's it's a win. Because eventually I do get the, the luck up item. I guess that's the thing. Maybe I should be prioritizing stuff that happens on hit. This one. I mean, the other one would mean that I can't buy items. Okay, leave it at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. It's okay. Safety net. That's not really useful. I mean, I could gamble it, but then... Nah. Reroll! Mmm... Thinking about it. Okay. I should have rerolled the shop with the dice, now that I think about it. It's okay, I'll get another opportunity to do it. Fuck. Okay. Don't panic. I said that was the last one, provided I got past the first floor. Yeah, negative 18. Yeah, it's going to be a common thing with this character. But, I mean... There's two more difficult things to do. It's not too bad. Get lunch. Yeah, I'm going to get lunch and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of my day. I got nothing to do today, so... But first, priority food. Anyway... Hope you enjoyed the bonus stream. Um, I'm going to play more of the chicken game later tonight. So if you're down for that, I'll do more of the chicken game. Plus maybe something else. We'll see. I don't know how much of it is left, but game's pretty fun.